I'm a one millimeter kind of gal. And now there's a leaf blower. All right, so today we've got January favorites. This is technically <laughs> Raisin Rejects because that's what I call this video. However, I'm having a couple speed reviews videos coming, so I wanted to save my rejects for that video. Looking at all the stuff, I've got a lot to get through because I have makeup favorites, clothing, lifestyle, food. It has been a good month. Been trying a ton of stuff, been ordering stuff, and I have lots to share with you that were big successes. I'll have my past raves and rejects playlist listed down below in the description box if you wanna check out my past favorites. I also did a 2022 yearly favorites videos. All right, let's hop into it. I'm gonna bounce between all the categories because why not? Okay, let's start off with facial hair. So personally, I love to remove the peach fuzz. Makeup just applies better over top. I've done this for years and I can't live without dermaplaning. I've tried the Tinkle brand, ones from Yes Style, a bunch of random ones on Amazon. So these for the quality and value, I think are the best. It's actually a really good deal for the amount that you get in here. I love that they're like a neon orange color. You can get these on Amazon. They're the Kish brand dermaplaners, but these are sharp. You can reuse them a bunch of times, but I love the AOA ones as well. Those are probably the sharpest I've found, and those are like heavy duty, but these for the value, and they're still really great for facial razor, love them. Makeup powder discovery, and by the way, my makeup videos have been pre-filmed like usually a couple weeks in advance, so I've been trying these, you know, longer than it seems based on when the videos are growing out basically, but I, this has been a massive month of makeup testing for me, but just know if I'm including makeup in a Raisin Rejects video, it's because I feel like I have a solid grip on the product has been thoroughly tested and doesn't make it into a Raisin Rejects if it hasn't been. So this Givenchy powder, I went on Sephora and I was looking at the reviews of this and it just had incredible reviews. And it is true, man. I have the shade three, which is like the rosy kind of pink tone shade, but this is one of the most like airbrush softening looking powders I have found so far. And I'm not usually a loose powder kind of gal. It has four different tones in here. You just tap it out into the lid. This is one that I use on my forehead and then around my pores just to kind of like soften things out, especially if I feel like my face is looking like too dewy. Okay, I'm telling you right now, you can just stop forever, stop your legging search. I have found the best leggings, the best leggings. My mom has now bought three or four pairs of these. I have about three pairs of them now. And then her friends have bought them because they saw them on her and felt them. Abercrombie. Abercrombie recently launched a new like activewear line. It's called YPB. I have two different styles. So I'm wearing one right now, which is the one with pockets. And then I have their other one, which doesn't have pockets. I'm gonna link the exact ones down below because there are different styles on there. There's like Curve Love and different ones. These are the two that I'm recommending that I've tried and that I have purchased multiple pairs of now. I wear the size small short and they are the perfect length. I am 4'11 for reference. They're the perfect length on me to where they actually are short ankle leggings, which is hard to find. But the best thing about these is the material is truly the closest to old school Fabletics. Old school Fabletics, they changed the material. They used to be like thick but soft and these are the closest to them I have found. These bad boys are thick but the material of them is so nice. I've worn them to the gym, but also just like I've been wearing these pretty much every single day. They're not see-through at all. I mean, they're thick. I love the ones with pockets for going on a walk because I can slip my headphone thing in there or my phone in the side. The band at the top is so nice and thick and smoothing. Abercrombie also puts this brand on sale a lot, so I wouldn't buy it full price, like definitely get some kind of discount on it. I got all of them when they were 40% off, so I think I paid around like $33, which is a good price for leggings that are like this kind of quality. Try them, let me know what you think, I'm in love. While we're on the legging topic, so these are interesting. These are basically like legging sweatpants from Amazon that I've been wearing every single night, been wearing them like around the house, to bed. <laughs> Now we've got a leaf blower. I've been waiting all day. I gotta hold up my mic now. <laughs> I've been waiting all day to film this video because there's been construction next door and now there's a leaf blower. Love that for us. Hopefully you can hear me. I purchased a few different brands of these like to try this style and these are my absolute favorite. They have a yoga pant band. So as you can see, there's no drawstring on top and they have cuffs on the bottom and the material of these are so soft. If you've heard of Viore, they're really popular in California and we actually just got a store in Seattle. We're getting a little ASMR action here. The material of Viore is so nice and soft and these are very close to them. Like I feel like these are pretty much Viore dupes. They have pockets on 
on the side. They're just so cozy. If you need like a good lounge pant or you could wear them out. I mean, these would look cute with like the white Nikes and a sweatshirt. So comfy. Okay, lip liner I've been in love with and been wearing pretty much every day is this Tarte one in the shade Mauve. It's really not a mauve color. It's more of like a natural your lips but better kind of pink tone. I'm wearing it right now with another product that I'm gonna talk about, but if you need a good everyday pink liner, this one glides on, stays on well. I wouldn't say it's as long lasting as the Charlotte Tilbury one. This is a matte finish, but it is more of like a creamy kind of matte. It's not gonna like slip off. I mean, it stays on well, but Charlotte Tilbury is like definitely long lasting, but love the tone of this. And then I love pairing it with this Amy Cole. This is in the shade Bliss. It's the lip treatment oil. And this has such a nice feel to it. It feels very similar to the House Labs lip oil. If you've tried that, I've raved about that formula. It feels very similar. It's not greasy. It's not slippery. It's just so soft and comfortable on the lips. You just want to like keep applying it. And I love the shade of this. I have them both on together. It's just such a pretty like wearable everyday pink shade. It is pigmented, but when you're not putting a lip liner on underneath, it does just give that like your lips, but better kind of color. And it has that nice like big applicator where it's comfortable to put on. Doesn't have a scent, been loving this. Strapless bra, you guys. It's hard to find a good strapless bra. My issue with most strapless bras is that either there's like gaping in the front or for me, it like kind of pushes out back fat in places that I don't want it. And then it doesn't look like nice and smooth in the back. This is from Aerie and it's like a seamless, just kind of bandeau style strapless bra. But the thing that's so nice about this is that it's very smoothing on like the back and, and underarm area, but it also has, it's not like sticky like some strapless bras are, but it does have a little bit of like resistance to where it's not gonna slide down your back. At least it doesn't for me. I got a size medium and this is a new line from them. It's like the smoothies line. I think it's supposed to be kind of like the skims. I like this better than a lot of like high-end brands I've tried for strapless bras. Material of this is soft, just a good strapless bra if you're in the market for one. All right, this is random, but you know, I really appreciate a good pen, a smooth, thick, juicy black pen for journaling, for planning. I have this in my planner. This is also a favorite. Showed this in my recent Amazon video. I'll link this down below too. Soft pages, bright white, love this. But I've actually been using this as a like what I did that day kind of thing. Like almost like the, what's that thing called? The five year line a day, one line a day. I've kind of been using it like that because I do use Google Calendar for all of my planning. And then I have book notes on the other side of like things I'm reading so that I don't forget because I tend to forget. <laughs> but this was the favor I was about to talk about. So this pen, I ordered a few different pens to try because I realized I love a good like thick one, like a one millimeter. I'm a one millimeter kind of gal. Pentel, I'll leave the exact one down below. You can get them on Amazon in like a four pack, I think it was. These are thick, they're juicy, they're smooth, the perfect pen. I like these better than, I tried the Sharpie one millimeter and then another brand of one millimeter. It writes beautifully on these pages and I am obsessed with these pens. <laughs> this was kind of like the month of bronzers for me. And actually both of these favorites were recommendations from Jessica Braun and she is totally right. The first is this NARS Laguna 01 bronzing cream. Holy shitsies. The formula of this is I think the best cream bronzer formula I have ever tried. It adds coverage. It's not too dewy. It's not too matte. It is the perfect tone. It's hard to find bronzers where the tone is right and the formula is right. And they just nailed it with this. The light shade works for me for tanner. Like right now I do have tanner on, but it's more of just like, a, it gives me a natural bronze color. It's not too warm. It's not too gray. It's very, I would say very like neutral. And it also looks super pretty when I don't have tanner on. And it is, I think totally worth the money. A very similar like second option from the drugstore that I also really love and reach for very often if I'm not reaching for the NARS one has been the Revolution Ultra Cream Bronzer. I use the shade light most often, but I also have the shade medium. And if I have like a fresh coat of tanner on, I'll go in with medium. But light, I definitely prefer over medium for me. This one I would say is dewier than the NARS, but a little goes a long way. When you first put it on, you might be like, whoa, this is like super pigmented. It just like melts into your skin and blends out beautifully. So if you like more of a dewy bronzer, I would say get this one over the NARS. Really strong pineapple tropical kind of scent. It's funny now, I don't notice it as much, but when I first started using this, 
it, it was like very obvious to me. When it's on my face, it doesn't bother me. The scent goes away, but if you're sensitive to scents, it does have a fragrance. Great drugstore cream bronzer option. Okay, this cream blush from M Cosmetics. I've been reaching for this pretty much every day. This shade Bitten is so beautiful. It's all I have on right now for blush. It is the prettiest like berry color. I do think this could work on different skin tones because the way I apply it, you need a tiny bit. Like literally I dip my brush in once. It is super pigmented, but it blends out and it just looks so nice on the skin. Love the shade, love the formula. I also love the M Cosmetics contour sticks. Those are incredible. Kara is my favorite shade. Okay, this is the bag I've been wearing every single day. Goes with everything because I usually wear neutrals. Lately, I've been wearing some color. I know we, we really got wild this month. If you saw my last haul video, I've been wearing neon beanies out the wazoo. I've been wearing more color. I don't know what's happening. By the way, this hoodie is so comfy. This is from American Eagle. I'll link it down below. But if you're already getting the, um, oh, I haven't talked about that yet, but I have another American Eagle favorite. But if you're getting the bra, and that, this is a really nice hoodie, by the way, and it's really cute and cuffed. But anyways, I usually wear pretty neutral things, so I actually love this color to go as like a pop. It's still neutral, I mean, it's tan, but just to add a little something to an outfit. This is a Dagny Dover phone sling. This kind of went around my mom's whole friend group like the leggings did, where now all of them own one of these. I found out about this from my friend Lauren, and I ended up buying it as soon as I saw hers. So perfect for like just an everyday walking bag because your phone, where's my phone? Super lightweight. Your phone slips in this side perfectly. So when you're walking, you can just pull it out really quick. I love that it has card slots on the inside so you don't have to bring your whole wallet. I have a burrito hand sanitizer in here that I got for Christmas from my cousin. Very cute. Has another pocket on the inside. Just the perfect everyday bag, like small bag or walking bag. You can also clip your AirPods or headphones on the outside of here on either one of these clips. I wear it like pretty high up because I feel like that's, you know, that's what's trending. You can throw Dagny Dover bags in the wash if you need to. They're neoprene, big fan of Dagny Dover in general. I might get the green one too, maybe. I have a lavender, black, grays. Okay, this is the other American Eagle item. I'm sitting on it. This jacket, so this is airy. I have the size small. This is like oversized. This is such a nice just throw on over every top with leggings, with jeans, whatever. Just waffle kind of button up cardigan. So cute. It's baggy in the right places and oversized in the right places, which is key. Very soft material. Love the black just for every day. And I also have been wearing this one from Amazon, which is very similar. I've been wearing this one a lot with like my purple beanie layered over whatever. Wow, this smells amazing. I think this is Ariana Grande cloud on here. <laughs> smells so good. This Amazon one is more affordable. I would say they're very similar. The American Eagle one is a little bit heavier, but the Amazon one is also really nice quality and I like the buttons on this one just for a little something extra. Lots of clothes favorites. I actually think I wanna do another clothing video. Let me know if you guys wanna see that. My last one was in fall. For those of you who have been here for a while, you know how I feel about Old Spice. I'm a big men's deodorant fan. I gotta do men's deodorant. They're the only ones that work, but I love this so much that I purchased a five pack on Amazon. It's the Degree Ultra Clear. It doesn't get on my clothes. It's not a gel though. I don't like gels, so I feel like it makes my armpits feel like wet. The new one, I have mine in my room. I like the smell of this. It smells a little bit cloney, but it's not too overpowering. I wouldn't say the scent is like as strong as Old Spice. The most important thing is that it's really effective for me. Lasts through like workouts, through walking, through everything. I feel like I have to reapply this less and I like that it doesn't get on my clothes. It just works. Okay, this mascara truly is worth the hype. Uh, it's rare for me that I find that TikTok products are actually good. This is one that is worth the hype. It's the Tower 28 mascara incredible. I don't usually like tubing mascaras. This one isn't fibery. There's nothing dropping into your eyes. It just feels like a normal mascara. Gives you so much length and so much volume. Is one that I truly feel like sometimes I'm like, mm, don't need lashes today. And it doesn't smudge. It doesn't transfer up, doesn't transfer down. A lot of mascaras will transfer like down to my lower lashes. This one stays in place and gives me so much volume. Incredible mascara. If you have dark hair, I have found the best I think the best brow shade where it's dark enough, it's the right undertone, but it still looks natural is the Joa Brunette. So it's this exact one in the blue. They've like redone the packaging a lot. I'll link the exact one down below. You can get it at CVS. I love this brow formula. I've talked about this for years now. I've used this for years. I just have used other shades in the past and the shade Brunette, I finally found my perfect 
brow pencil shade. The hunt is over. It is this. If you need a good cream liner for the waterline, I've been loving this Treluce Intenso liner in the shade Tranquila. I like the black too for my waterline and why is the word escape? The tight line. I love tight lining with a black one too, but this cream shade, it stays on my waterline well and it's not too white. Like it's the perfect tone of cream. It's brightening, but it's not like, whoa, what's on our waterline, you know? It just makes you look awake, goes on the waterline nicely, and it's affordable, it's on Ulta. Okay, so this highlighter, Benefit Tickle. I didn't love the Benefit Cookie. I felt like that was like almost too intense and just like really emphasized texture, but the Tickle shade is like this pink champagne, and I've been using this a ton. It does have this like almost duochrome to it where it like I said, pink champagne. I have it on today. It is so beautiful. It's intense, but gives you more of that like wet look highlighter, but I love the tone. I've been loving pink, almost like blush topper shades. If you're debating getting the Rare Beauty one, the pink shade of the Rare Beauty, I showed that in a past first impressions video. That one is intense. This is intense too. Like I use a very light hand with this, but I just think this is so much more flattering over textured skin. It sits nicer. It doesn't emphasize the pores as much, but it gives a similar look. I would say get this one instead. I also love this. This has been a favorite for years now. It's the Bare Minerals Joy Highlighter. This is also friggin' beautiful. I would say this one, the shade is a little more pinky on this. It's like a pink salmon color and it is so freaking and pretty if you want that really like summery pink fresh cheek this is stunning benefit has a little more champagne in it this one is more like pink salmon both are beautiful both look beautiful over texture and on the skin spf favorite definitely this this is from yes style it's around 15 bucks but you can get it even cheaper it's a korean product spf 50 hyaluronic acid this is basically just a completely clear gel spf that is perfect perfect for underneath makeup doesn't have a fragrance it's not too glowy, but it's moisturizing. Like I don't use a moisturizer with this. This is like a two in one for me, SPF and moisturizer. That's all I can say. It's a good one, it's affordable, and it's clear. This is what I've been wanting to use every single day for concealer. I'm testing a different one today. I'm testing the Huda Beauty one that I have on now, but this is what I keep going back to, and it is so good, dude. It's the Becca Smashbox Under Eye Brightening Corrector in Fair Light, but it has some decent coverage to it, especially because it's like this salmon-y tone. It just brightens up the under eyes so nicely. It does have like a creamy, dewy finish, and the way I love to apply this is I apply it mostly on the first half of my eye and then I use the Essence Powder Foundation. I'll link it down below. I use the shade 05. I just powder like the second half of my eye. So I have this on the first half, which keeps it really nice and bright and dewy. And then I use the Essence Powder on the second half. And that has been working so nicely for me. This doesn't crease badly. It wears well throughout the day. I love those two together. Less bronzer. Like I said, it's been the month of bronzers. This Juvia's Place palette. This is in the shade Light. These are like soft, beautiful, matte bronzing shades. Love the tone of this one for just like a natural contour shade on fair skin. And then this is the one I've been using lately. And the tone is just really pretty for more of like a warm bronzer tone. But what I love is that it's a very diffused, soft, matte powder. It doesn't look too powdery. It sits on the skin nicely and it can balance out your face really well if you have like a more dewy foundation on and then going with this. It just like flattens out your forehead really nicely and I've been reaching for this a ton. Oh my God. I had this in my notes because I'm not gonna <laughs> whip out my underwear here, but hoo-ha underwear. Holy shit, sees. I bought two to start and then I ended up placing an order for like four more. You guys, this style specifically, I'll put it on the one here. This is my favorite. It's a thong that is the freaking softest material but what I love is that these are actually for like, if you're someone who gets itchy with a lot of fabrics or you get a lot of infections, whatever, this is like antibacterial fabric. It is truly so comfortable. I can feel a difference without getting TMI here. I, I do get itchy with certain materials, read the reviews. These are worth the price tag to me. If you dye your hair black and you like a blue black tint, then you know it's hard to find dyes that are actually blue and that have like a significant amount of blue tint to the black. But this one specifically by Schwarzkopf, I showed applying it in a vlog. I really feel like this is the most blue black I have found so far to the point where I'm like getting comments on it. I think in, in the light too, it is like the most blue tinted black I've found so far. It made my hair really shiny. Definitely gonna be repurchasing that and continuing to use it. Covered grays well. I just love the tint that it gave. If you read one book, this this year, I really feel like it should be this book, 4,000 Weeks. If you haven't read it yet, add it to your list. It is 
so different than I thought it was gonna be. I actually bought it because I thought it was gonna be like a productivity book. I'm just always interested in that topic in general because my mindset on it has shifted so much in the last couple years and just like trying to find work-life balance and things that I've changed. I, I'm not trying to find productivity tips. I'm trying to create more of like the balance and continue on that path. 4,000 weeks is the average number of weeks that someone is alive. How do I even sum this up? This book is probably totally different than you're picturing. It's more of just like an overall life mindset book, like focusing on the things that are important, having hobbies without having a certain financial benefit behind that hobby really interesting things talking about like social regulation of time and how like team activities are so important it's just such a good book for so many different reasons goes through so many different topics i just really think everyone should read this book also give it like 50 pages because it gets better and better if you're someone who's a workaholic i still think you should read the book rest first read the book rest then read this read the book okay read the book ipad mini this has been a game changer for me so i had the old ipad i think mine was like three or four years old now it was too heavy for me to bring traveling with me and that was my main reason to get the ipad mini was that like i'm gonna be taking this with me this time because i do like to use the apple pencil to work on my thumbnails and do like writing on the thumbnails. I also wanna start editing photos on here. I think it'd be easier than using my phone and like trying to zoom in. Basically the iPad mini is to me the perfect size, the perfect weight, especially if you're someone who likes to throw it in your purse or your backpack or you're traveling a lot. It's the perfect size for that. Hello, there's me, this is weird, but it's just a nice like YouTube watching size as well. Love this magnetic case as well, I'll link both down below. Also love that the new one this is how you charge the pencil. You don't have to friggin' like plug in a thing to the bottom and have your Apple pencil sticking out like this for an hour. It just charges on the side, which is so nice and it just sticks there. So that's a huge upgrade they did. Thank you, Apple. All right, and then lastly, we have uh, one of my favorite topics, food. <laughs> I have some food favorites to share here. So actually two Thrive pretzels. You can get both these pretzels on Thrive Market. And the first are these honey mustard ones. If you like honey mustard, so good. I've discovered that I really like gluten-free pretzels. I think they're just crunchier and I love a good crunchy pretzel. If you also love a good crunchy pretzel, these ones ultimate crunch right here. If you like a crispy, crunchy, salty pretzel, these are so good. Okay, the, <laughs> these are called Fat Boy Junior. They're just mini ice cream sandwiches and you can get them from Walmart. My mom said that this size is actually hard to find, but the ones I'm talking about are these little square ones and they're like the minis. They're 110 calories and they're real ice cream. And they're just so fulfilling for like a low calorie dessert at the end of the night. Once you finish one, you feel satisfied. Like I never feel like I need another one. They're good. Pineapple bubbly. I love bubbly in general, but I don't know if this flavor is new, but I had never seen it before and I love it. Doesn't have like a sunscreeny taste, just tastes like pineapple. It tastes very refreshing. I also feel like this would be good in like mixed drinks. This is a specific um, cheese recommendation. <laughs> You're welcome. Saint Andre, San Andre, don't know how you say it. This is a brie from France and my aunt is like queen of charcuterie boards and she had this cheese on her charcuterie board that she brought over the holidays and my mom also purchases this. We have it in the fridge right now. If you need a good cheese to put on a board or just to eat, Whoa, this is so good. People were like commenting on this cheese when we had the board out. It's a good one. And then last food favorite is this egg white protein powder. If you can't have whey or you want something that is just different than like the pea protein, I've been putting this in my green smoothies that I've been making basically every day. I've been making a green smoothie really often. I put this in and some collagen powder and this is protein without having whey in it. Filling, I put like avocado in. I actually did my smoothie recipe in a recent vlog so if you want to know everything I put in, check out that video. But you can get this stuff on Amazon and it's literally just powdered egg whites. It doesn't have a taste to it. I just put in smoothies. You can't feel like a gross chalky texture or a taste at all. All right, so those are all my January favorites. Everything is listed down below in the description box if you want to check anything out. Like I said, rejects are going to be coming in speed reviews. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye. Come here. You want to come on camera? Thank you, boy. Okay, bye.